Let me get this out of the way first. This is not Doors. This is a fan game of both Doors and Five Nights at Freddy's called The Backdoor Project, mixing FNAF style gameplay with Doors entities. And as someone who occasionally likes to watch FNAF Max modes, it's usually not that interesting if I don't know what the hell is going on. So uh, here's what the hell is going on. <laughs> in order to win, it's not as simple as sit and survive till 6am. What you must do is fill these three nodes by filling up this bar. How you fill up this bar is by checking the cameras, seeing which ones are, which ones have lights on and which ones don't, and inputting that into the camp or into here. Fill it up enough, and then you get a node. Fill all three, and then you can exit through door 85. If it was just that, it would be a pretty boring game, though. So obviously, there's more to it. Uh, so, attempting to kill you while you try to power up all the nodes is nine entities from doors. And I'm specifically doing worst time ever, which is all nine entities at their maximum difficulty. It's not the hardest thing the game has to offer, but uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ready for hotel hell yet. So here's what all the entities do. Rush will occasionally rush through your room, and you must hide under the bed behind you in order to survive. Ambush is similar, playing as normal sound cues and forcing you to hide under the bed in order to survive. Dude. However, he comes multiple times and does not pause most entities while he's active, meaning you will have to deal with entities in between attacks. Screech. Eyes will look in the cameras, occasionally switching which one he's on. Looking at him for more than a second will start rapidly damaging. Note that you do have to look at the camera he's on a lot because of telling whether the lights are on or off. The dupe will also lurk in the cameras, occasionally changing a door number. If you see a door number change, you must report it with the report button, otherwise after a certain amount of time he will attack and damage you. Halt will occasionally show up and give a either a clockwise or counterclockwise arrow. From there you can only turn in the direction the arrow is pointing or you will be attacked by Halt. Figure it will approach you from the cameras, either going from cam 1 to 3 or 6 to 4. Once he leaves the cameras he will be outside one of the doors and once he's very close you must shut the door on him until you hear three knocks. If you're ever watching figure, whether it's on the cameras or at a door, he will not be able to move. Seek will also approach on the cameras in the same way as figure, however once he's exited the cameras you will hear a running sound. A90 is similar to his normal doors counterpart, appearing on your screen and giving you about half a second to stop moving, including mouse movements. But there does seem to be a little bit of leniency at least. Anyways, on to worst time ever. I might be dead. Okay then, prioritize seek first then. Oh, okay. So you would be slightly further away, but whatever. So happy for him for buffering. 
probably shouldn't have gotten away with that. As in, like, should have been hit by A90. Go away. Door, please. I don't like it. Okay, dupes at camp four. I figure. Go, go, go! Nice! No hit. I mean, you kind of have to no hit if you do worst time ever because of last breath, but it's good. <sighs> uh, 
Nice. It took 15 minutes compared to the first time I did this, because this is the second time I've been that just didn't record the last time. <sighs> that was re I actually really like this. It's really well done. <laughs> 